Thank you, Nancy. This game went sideways in the third quarter. Oklahoma City started making shots. Nets couldn't find any stops. And then the Nets offense seemed to drag a bit. And things got disjointed. They never recovered. Thunder gained confidence. And the Nets never found their rhythm again. OKC walks out of here with a very impressive win against Brooklyn. Yeah, first thing, give credit to Oklahoma City Thunder because they game, came in uh, with a very effective game plan mm-hmm. and a whole lot of effort and intensity. And you said it. I think the confidence just grew throughout the course of the game because they were getting stops, because they were getting some easy baskets in transition off of turnovers and just did a nice job throughout holding a steady pace. Shea Gildas Alexander is a budding star yeah. in this league, but it was the totality of the group and how they were able to be effective. Kyrie Irving not with the team, still out for personal reasons. That remains a bit of a mystery as to when he'll be back and really they can't stop and wait for him because the games keep coming. Uh, The Nets will take on the Denver Nuggets coming up. Nuggets, as we know, a very tough team, talented team, expected to do big things in the Western Conference. OKC, one of those unsung teams we didn't know much about going into this regular season. They've made pretty clear statement that they've got young talent and they play really hard and as we know with the nets every team that plays them this is a game they circle on their schedule when kevin durant's on the other side of the floor you know they're going to be eyeballs paying attention and kevin durant makes his return he puts up 36 points uh and does a job in each areas of the floor but i think it comes back to the same little things that steve nash and this group has struggled with so much of it has been taking care of the basketball Mm. and how that not only affects your offense but it puts pressure on your defense and teams are aware of that and they're taking advantage so we're seeing different looks coverages the type of ball pressure and getting in passing lanes that forces that and if you think oklahoma city is able to put up numbers and score just get ready for the denver nuggets because they have so many different weapons on the floor. But for the Nets, once again, it's early. It's an opportunity for them to look at how they're going to shore up some of the gaps. And I think, too, just the continued experimentation yeah. with the rotations, what the lineups look like, who plays well with each individual players. I think that's something that Nash and his coaching staff are continuing to assess. And the rotation did change. Bruce Brown was not a big part of it against Oklahoma City. Uh, Certainly now the experimenting part of it is still very real as they wait for Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant getting his footing back, but the Nets couldn't get it done tonight. Second half was rough for Brooklyn. Oklahoma City gets the win. They're over 500. The Nets are now one game under 500.